Pierce were part of the Sun Belt Conference. Not a conference game tonight, obviously, but still, I'm sure it will not lack for intensity as the Cajuns get the tap. Greg Williams working against Daniel Sackey out front. Inside, Julian with the little dipsy do move. He'll draw the foul early. Brent Duga makes the call, heads up this officiating crew. That's going to be on green. You can see helping inside after the fake ball handoff. And Julian attacking the basket, being aggressive early, draws the foul. He'll shoot two. 64% free throw shooter so far this year. Misses the first. I mentioned Brent Duga just because he told me that this is his 32nd year of calling Division I basketball. Julian makes the second. The Cajuns have to an early one to nothing lead. And the Privateers looked like they were going in transition, but Saki running it, working against Greg Williams. And Louisiana came out in a full court press that time, maybe trying to trap, but Saki takes it up and handles the pressure well. They put it into St. Hilaire's hands, and he is working against Garnett, as we expected. That's the matchup to watch for sure. Jumpers put up off glass, no good by Green. Cajuns come away with the rebound. You notice a notable name not in that starting five. Theo Akuba is out injured. In fact, we didn't know that until he came out on the court in a boot. Drive inside, cannot get the layup to go. Was Williams. St. Hilaire came away with it. Drive inside, up off high off the glass, no good. Jordan Brown already with his second rebound. Second leading rebound on the team behind Akuba, and with him out tonight, you lose the 6.8 rebounds. Duguay takes it to the hole, got past his man. Gay back in the starting lineup with Akuba's absence, averaging just 2.8 points a game this year. But he's got some experience. We saw him a lot last year, a veteran player at 6'9", attacking the basket. Green out front, he had double figures in both of the times these teams played last year. Down low they'll go inside the Jackson and a hit for the travel violation. UNO only turns it over about 14 times a game for the season. And you can see right there, Jackson just changed his pivot foot. Good defense down low in the post. Duguay and Jordan Brown will have to handle that tonight with a Kuba out. Julian will give it back to Williams. Back to Gay, he'll launch the three and that doesn't catch anything. Got a little over anxious that time. Yeah, I see Coach Brock Morris on the, on the bench telling him to drive that, maybe a, a shot fake and drive like he did the possession before where he scored. That time he settled for the three and uh, nothing but air. There's a little full court pressure again by Louisiana and it looks like- uh, And it's gonna be yep, a turnover. Yep. As a mistake in communication by the privateers, and that's already a couple of turnovers for UNO. Williams again working against Saki will put it into Julian's hands again. He'll stop and take the three ball. And that also comes up well short. Ball's going to go out of bounds. It will belong to the privateers again. Like Agents came in shooting 33% outside the arc. Right now they're zero on iron finding. Looks like Coach Marlin wants to maybe get Greg Williams going early with a couple of handoffs and ball screens at the top of the key, and Greg Williams will, will head to the bench. AU checks in for him. Brian AU, the junior from Mexico, starting point guard all of last season, but or rather when he was not hurt, he was the starting point guard, but. Missed so many games injured and was still recovering at the start of the year. He didn't make his first appearance until about a week ago. Pass tried to go it across the baseline to Troy Green, kicked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Privateers and fresh 20 on the shot clock. And Greg Williams went straight to see BJ. You see him at the top corner, you see him sitting on the table. Greg Williams may be in. I've seen Greg Williams play a lot of basketball in his life growing up. And if something may be not right with him injury-wise, he's just not as explosive as he used to be. So hopefully, B.J. will get him straight. You see him stretching at the top of your screen. Simeon Kirkland, the big guy, leaves it inside. Drive inside. That won't go again. Tough move by Green. And Jordan Brown again with the rebound. Garnett for three from the corner. 
Kentrell Garnett, we talked about him in the pregame. Right now shooting 52% outside the arc. And he has a quick release. He doesn't really, it's kind of a set shot, but it's a, it's a perfect ball, perfect shot. There's good defense by Garnett. Tough. The signal. <laughs> Whatever that means. Maybe he kicked his leg out to try to draw the foul. Is that a foul this year? Interesting. Garnett gives it back to Gay. <laughs> behind Coach Mark. That's Tick Price sitting right behind him, the four other longtime UNO coach who is doing radio commentary now. Yeah, it's good to see Tick. Yeah, it is. If you know Louisiana basketball, you know that name for sure. Defense at the top, almost thrown away. St. Hilaire has to run it down on the pass from Saki. And almost knocked away again as he'll try to drive the baseline. Now a kick pass across court to Jackson. Inside, the little baby shot is up and good by Kirkland. Good ball movement by the Privateers that time. Yeah, much better that time. They got the ball into the paint. Good things happen when the ball goes into the paint with either a pass or a drive. And nice passing. The out, Theo Akuba and Michael Thomas tonight. AU goes back to Gay. Cross court, Garnett for three again. That skims iron, no good. Julian had the rebound, kept it alive. Cajuns will get a fresh shot clock. Julian thought he was fouled going up, but it looked like it might have been all ball. Brown on the spin move and does not get the roll. And Deontay Bell, who checked in during the timeout, has the rebound for the Privateers. So we'll probably see a lot of Bray and AU at the point for Louisiana. Inside now over to Tyson Jackson. Got good position and the sophomore from Fairburn, Georgia. Got his first bucket, averages almost seven points a game. And a foul on away from the ball as Julian was looking to drive. And Cajuns will keep possession as Jackson picks up the foul. Nice back to a cut. Anytime you're overplayed, you want to cut to the basket to either get a pass like there or free up that wing for the next player. AU tries to get it down low. Gay couldn't finish the shot, but Brown with another rebound. He's going to back in, and he'll lay it in. A nice offensive move by the sophomore from California. Dribble to the middle of the paint, looks that way, and then a drop step gets to the basket. He missed last time to the front of the rim. That time he drop steps, gets to the glass, and is able to finish. And Gay's going to get called for the foul down inside as he and Jackson were really banging around in the lane. He looks like looks like a linebacker coming across there to, to impede that wide receiver coming across the middle. Yeah, you want to be physical down there, but you can't push. You can't get the offensive player off of his spot. They'll call that foul on you every time. First foul on Gay, first team foul on the Cajuns. As Julian does a little cleanup work on the shoe. They put it in the hands of the of Dowdy on the inbounds. Kamani Dowdy, who also checked in, the redshirt freshman from Brooklyn, New York, gets his first basket. And just like that, the Privateers back within four. That's a nice play out of bounds and a tough shot. He's able to make it another backdoor cut for Louisiana. But Garnett gets it knocked away, quick hands, and here come the Privateers the other way. They've got numbers. St. Hilaire to the basket, can't finish it. And Bell missed the dunk shot. Cajuns come away with it. Two good opportunities for UNO. Instead, Brown on the other end, he can't get it to go, and Jackson has the board. Up and down basketball here, both teams. Love transition, love to run. Want to put some points on the board. Defense is going to be huge tonight for both teams, and there's Barnett again on the ball. AU doing a nice job on Sandy Lair now. Pass across court by Saki, knocked away by Gay. He'll stop and set things up to AU. He'll go down low to Brown, gets it knocked away. And this time, I think he'll get called for the offensive foul. Tyson Jackson had good position that time, and Brown got a little, little too active down low. He sure did. You lower your shoulder. He just holds his ground. You can see right there, boom, too much contact. And you can see his arm extend, too. If you extend your arm like that, easy call for the official. Brown will get a blow. Richards checks in for Louisiana. First foul for Jordan Brown as Isaiah Richards, the freshman from Brooklyn, New York. So you got a couple of Brooklyn players on both sides right now on the floor. Bell looking for somebody to give it up to. 
Finally gets it into the hands of St. Hilaire. And Garnett back on him, and that's going to be a great matchup all night. Deshaun Allen Eikens checked in for UNO. He had it outside. Ball almost knocked away from Bell. Tough shot on the baseline. And Richards comes away with the rebound. Long down court to Julian. Turn around, gets it knocked away by Bell, who hustled back down to get it out of bounds. Cajuns will keep possession. Looks like Coach Marlin wanting his team to play fast. A little full court pressure to start, which we hadn't seen very much of. And anytime Louisiana comes up with either a steal or a rebound, looking it up court as quick as they can. That was a nice pass by AU that time. A good defense by UNO. Cajuns have already aired 12 shots as a three ball by AU is there. His first tray of the year. In fact, his first points of the year. Getting some minutes with Williams out and also uh, Thomas out. He's got to play a lot of points tonight. Shot put up by Bell, knocked away by Richards. Cajuns come away with the loose basketball. Running again. AU will take it. No, Julian will take it to the basket. Cajuns build a nine point lead. St. Hilaire looks for the drive. He'll kick it back outside to Kirkland. He'll leave it outside to nobody. Deshaun Allen Eikens was the intended target for the sophomore from North Dakota. Was inspecting the basketball. It's out of bounds. That is turnover number five. Check that number four on the privateers. Coach Marlin and his staff has his squad ready to play tonight. Defensive intensity has been great. Full court pressure into half court man to man, getting stops and turnovers and transition fast paced basketball on offense as we see Jalen Dow court for Louisiana. The Lafayette, Louisiana product checking in. And good minutes yeah. from Garnett. And he didn't lose anything as far as a score from three-point range, but he comes in for Garnett. Down low, tried to get it into the hands of Antoine Jones, who also checked in during the timeout. Out of bounds, it will be privateer basketball. And you can tell the defensive intensity for Louisiana much higher than their last game against Jackson State. No doubt about it. An offense looking for a little more backdoor, maybe a little more dribble handle. There's another turnover. Jones up in the passing lane, forcing a bad pass and a turnover. Tyson Jackson thought he was going to hit a cutter. He only hit the kitchen bench. That Bob Marlin was the closest guy there. Cajun basketball again, five turnovers for the privateers in the first eight minutes. Jones on the drive. He'll stop and take the jumper a little too strong. Troy Green comes away with the rebound. Green, the only fifth year player on this UNO squad that looks a lot different from the last couple of years team. And an offense. You have uh, Louisiana Tech was in there too. We had a great conference. We won it in 92, we had to go to. UNO beat Tim Floyd. Irving Johnson was on that team and played for the Seattle Supersonics. I mean, just an outstanding team and an outstanding conference. Richards outside. He'll leave it down low for Jordan Brown as he starts backing up again. Got a man in the air, but good double team. They'll go to AU outside. Long shots no good over everything, but Richards with the hustle rebound, and he'll get it out to Dalcourt. Great Cajun's hustle. Get another chance. Shot clock, yep. But AU shot didn't catch anything, and Cajuns could not get up a shot. Good hustle. They just couldn't get anything out of it. It was good hustle, but much better defense on the block that time by, who was that guarding? That was Bell that was guarding Brown. He tried that drop step again to get to the backboard and use the glass, but Bell wouldn't have it. Have to kick it out, and they don't get a shot up that possession. Bell's a freshman from Bossier City, played at Bossier High School. Green outside working against Jones. Put it back into the hands of Allen Eikens, being guarded by AU. Bell down low, he finds the open man, and Kirkland got away from his man just enough. He's got four. That's a great pass. That's a little high-low action where they get it to one big, and he throws it inside. If you front, they throw it over the top. Great pass. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and AU AU's just he either wow. rolled an ankle or something going the other way, and the dunk will not go from Bell. AU still in the backcourt and he is hobbling. 
They're playing five on four right now. St. Hilaire will pull it out. And AU is going to try to gut it out and guard somebody, but not much luck there. Is now a foul inside as Bell has it. But the more important thing is uh, Cajuns who are already getting hit by the injury bug so much. And you don't want to see that happen to AU. He's missed so many games over the last couple of years. I think Coach Marlin just asked BJ about Greg, and he shook his head, no, Greg Williams can't go. And we'll see Trajan Wesley. Cajuns will go to point guard number three tonight. And you see AU, he is hobbling. And it looks like he might have rolled up an ankle. So it happened right in front of us. I don't know if there was a wet spot on the floor or he just rolled it. But yeah, he's uh, definitely in pain and they'll have to check him out. Disappointing for that young man who battled those injuries and he's actually playing pretty well tonight. Looks good. Fouls called on Jalen Dalcourt, his first personal, as Deontay Bell will go to the line to shoot a pair. 0 for 1 this year from the line, now 0 for 2 as he misses the first. You know, with the team shooting right at 72% as a team. Second shot is also no good. Jordan Brown again with the rebound. That's six already for Brown. He's got it outside, putting it into Julian's hands. The behind the back pass by the 6'11 Richards. And now Dalcourt will drive it inside. Can't get it to go as St. Hilaire comes away with the defensive board. And now Saki will take it inside and draw the foul. And the privateers did a good job transitioning that time. Good by Louisiana on the other end. They were paid Jalen Dalcourt with the runner right in the middle of the lane. Just didn't go down, but Saki sprinting it up the floor. And Wesley fouls him instead of giving up the easy basket, make him earn it at the line. First foul on Wesley, fourth team foul on Louisiana as Saki. 82% this year. Nine out of 11. Make that 10 out of 12. So he's got his first point. Jamel Myers, Jr. from Cape Coral, Florida, checks in. Myers was actually a starter last year, started both of the games against Louisiana. First time they played, he only had two points, but had seven rebounds. His big guard spot, his second free throw no good. Richards has the board. So Wesley running the show now. As Julian looks to drive, will kick it outside to Wesley. Backdoor cut, that's Dalcourt. Tough move inside, going inside where the big guys are. And the 6'1 junior from Lafayette gets his first bucket. Quickly the other way, and a foul called as Green was trying to drive the baseline. And Julian's picked up his first foul. Quickly is right after a made basket. We, uh, UNO getting it up the court. Green attacking the basket all the way to the rim on a made basket. You don't see that very often. Give it up to Green outside. Takes the drive inside. That's off glass, no good. Jordan Brown again. Seven rebounds already for Brown. Wesley in the corner. He'll launch the three. Too hard off the iron. Green has the board. Trajan, another guy who's fought some injuries, says he's feeling okay. Had a chance to visit with him before the game. Drive inside. Saki can't finish it. Cajuns again come away with the rebound. Louisiana with a 14-9 advantage on the boards right now. Quick pass outside. Julian will launch the three. That's too hard off the iron. Louisiana only two of eight outside the arc right now. That's a good ball movement. A wide open three from the top of the key. That's a charge. They'll call the block. On Kobe Julian. Coach Marlin did not like that call. Keep an eye on Coach Marlin right here. He's hot. Well, well, Julian, like that's his second foul. St. Hilaire will go to the line. I don't know if we'll have a chance to take a look. Yes, we will. And, well, Julian was outside the arc. I thought his foot might have been in there, but he was outside. So judgment call goes against the Cajuns this time. And St. Hilaire, very good free throw shooter, 84% this year. And Eric, he's getting to the line. He's 26 out of 31 already this season. 
get another look at that last play and you see Julian sliding over and you know did he get position maybe maybe not it's bang bang and the official sees he called but he was pretty sure that he had a block he had it correct because Marlon doesn't agree those 50 50 calls you got to give Julian a lot of credit for trying to take that charge it takes a lot of toughness to stand there and get run over for your team first two points for St. Hilaire in the ball game this new gay is checked back in Quickly cross court pass and Kentrell Garnett who also checked back in and he's got a couple of threes now. He is two for two outside the arc. This kid has been outstanding. Catch and shoot. You see how quick that release is. He don't need much room and now he's playing defense on their best player. St. Hilaire will stop and pop. That's well short. Gay has the rebound. And again that was good defensive pressure. No doubt Garnett contesting the shot, not giving him a good look. They go back to Garnett. He's looking inside. There's Duguay. Duguay was looking for somebody. They'll clear out that side of the court, and that one's way offline. Play. And they're doing that because they're so short in numbers right now with some things leaving the league last year. Very interesting. It's a, it's See how a, that works out. It's an interesting idea. Jamel Myers will leave it outside for Green. Now being guarded by Dalcourt, and they'll go down low again to Kirkland. Spin move put up, up and good. Nice move by the junior. The transfer from UAB has six points. Quickly going the other way. Garnett can't get the drive to go. And Dowdy comes away with the rebound. Quickly going the other way and not getting the roll that time. Fight for the rebound, and Gay's the guy who comes away winning the fight. Wesley on the spin, takes it up, puts it off glass. Five foot nine, the junior from Navasota, Texas. Wasn't afraid to go down there to the big guys. And on the other end, Jordan Brown and Kirkland were fighting for position, and Brown gets whistled for his second foul. Boy, Coach Marlon got to love to see the way Trajan is playing. You can see his explosiveness right there. A little spin move, finish off the glass. Tonight, he's had Williams and AU go down. Smith and Akuba already not in. Nice spin move and a nice touch off the glass for West. Dowdy in the path, but was able to spin away from him as Kirkland, 75% free throw shooter this year, makes the first. He's got seven points. Leads the privateers in scoring right now. Richards back in as Brown heads to the bench. Kobe Julian already on the bench with two. Second free throw by Kirkland is up and good. Cajun's already shorthanded among the bigs with Theo Akuba not playing with an injury. Garnett, oh, ooh, gets it knocked over into the second row as uh, Kamani Dowdy came out of nowhere. The freshman from Brooklyn. He don't need much room, but he needs a little more room than that. You can see he jumps before he even got the shot up and a nice block. That's a nice play. And now and a he turnover. turnover, a nice steal by Dowdy going the other way, but off glass leaving it short. But Myers is there for the offensive board. Pump and another three, and this time he hits it. Kamani Dowdy has five points, his first three-pointer. So he's been the guy keeping you at O in it over the last minute. A big time shot had a little contact on that shot too. Three point land knocks it down. No call. Yeah, he leaves it for Dalcourt. He'll find Wesley in the corner. His three ball is no good. Yeah, he hit the deck as Dowdy comes away with the rebound. Long down court, putting it up. Oh, it's kind of stretching that back. Uh, DJ a while ago, maybe a little back end. You can see the disappointment in both of those guys. You know they want to be on the floor. Ball's knocked away from Gay oh, yeah, and keeping it out of. Good hustle. Mark Schlesinger just tried to make the save over there, but good hustle by the privateers. The ball will stay with the Cajuns with 19 on the shot clock. As a coach, you got to appreciate that effort. That's what you want. That's winning basketball, taking charges, diving on the floor for loose balls, blocking out. That's how you win basketball games right there. And bounce comes to Wesley. Cajuns led this one by nine just about two minutes ago. That shot's put up short, but Gay comes away with the rebound and is able to put it back up. New Gay's got six points. And Wesley created that by being able to get all the way to the rim, getting into the paint. He didn't make the shot, but he forced help, and the offensive rebound cleaned up. 
Green almost lost the handle, but was able to get it to Dowdy outside. Look for the give and go, goes back to Green, and now down low again to Kirkland, working against Gay this time. Spin move, that was way offline, and hits one of the privateers as Green was trying to save it, and it will be Cajun ball. I think Jalen Dalcourt might have got a piece of that shot on the help as he came from behind when Kirkland tried to make that move and shoot over his left shoulder with the jump hook. Jalen Dalcourt might have got a piece of that. Dalcourt outside gives it off to Joe Charles, who checked in at the last timeout. Gay will leave it for Dalcourt, almost knocked away, and now it is knocked away. Loose ball in the backcourt. And a held ball is going to be called alternating possession. It will belong to the privateers. A nice play by Green that time as he jumped the handoff. The Raging Cage is kind of going to a few more ball or uh, dribble handoffs tonight. And that time Green jumped it, got the turnover. Seventh turnover for Louisiana. It will be UNO basketball from right next to the Cajun bench. Not a lot of players left on the Cajun bench. A lot of them sitting back behind in the training area. Kobe Julian heads back to the table to check in. Down low to Kirkland. He will leave it for the big hook by Myers. That's no good. Gay with the rebound. Gay having to play a lot more minutes than he's played in most of the games this year with the Cajuns being so shorthanded on the front line. That's Joe Charles from the corner. Gets it to rattle around. Kirkland comes away with the rebound. That's good offense with Wesley in backdoor cut. Draws the help, hits Charles wide open in the corner. Unable to knock it down. Offensive down foul. Down low. And Myers got caught pushing off, trying to get good movement inside. He picks up his first foul. Sixth team foul on the Privateers. Sure did. It was a high low set once again, but he extended that elbow as he was posting up and then went to the basketball. Referee saw it, made the call, go the other way. Dalcourt gets a blow. Good minutes by Jalen Dalcourt. Turnover seven apiece. As we head toward the four minute mark here in the first half. Nice crossover by Wesley, but got cut off again as the Privateers did a good job of switching defensively that time. Down low to Gay. He'll go on the drive inside, averaging about 14 minutes a game coming in. So he has had to play a lot more tonight. And he has responded with seven points already. And he's got some talent. He played a lot last year with Cuba. They were on the court at the same time with Joe Brown coming in this year. His minutes um, have deteriorated, but tonight he's getting a chance to play Kobe Julian. And actually, that, losing yeah. his shoot. The Cajuns again well, shorthanded on, on this end of the floor. <laughs> as Kobe Julian hustles back down and the privateers couldn't find Allen Eikens wide open under the basket. And now Allen Eikens gets it blocked by Julian, but it goes into the hands of Dowdy and inside shots put up and good. Second chance basket, Troy Green finishes with his first bucket. Inside to Julian, the driving spinner layup. Kobe Julian with five points. Nice execution there, Garnett with the down screen, and Kobe Julian curls it as his man followed him. He had a step, nice pass by Charles. Drive inside, Allen Eikens puts it up, leaves it a little short. Julian again, he'll leave it for Garnett in the corner, but that one's all fired. Long rebounds controlled by the Privateers. Driving inside, up off glass, tough shot by Dowdy. He's got seven points off the bench. Quickly, an another Don't chance. Blink. Wow, both teams playing fast. Garnett hits another one. Nine points for Kentrell Garnett. Just missed one. They gave him another chance of 10 seconds later, and he makes this one count. And another advanced pass by Wesley. He's pushing it up the court right across half court. He can get it up the court faster. If you pass it, he finds Gornett in the corner who knocks it down. Drive and a high arcing shot. That's no good by Green. Charles has the rebound. And here come the Cajuns again. Wesley will stop and watch the three. That one is all firing badly, though. Got a little rushed on that one as Green came away with the rebound. And now he'll go in the corner. They're kicking back out to St. Hilaire. He's been very quiet so far tonight. 
Driving shot is up and good. Draws the foul. Right on cue. Derek St. Hilaire with his first field goal. And he picks up his second foul. And you can tell that he was going to score. He wasn't giving that up. Trying to draw the foul. And he flips it up. It goes in. He'll go to the free throw line for the old fashioned three point play. St. Hilaire scored nine points in the two games combined against Louisiana last year. He had 20 in the loss to AM on Tuesday. He was seven for 13 from the field. He's got three in a row from the stripe. He's got five points tonight. Pulls the privateers back within three. Richards and Jones back into the game for Louisiana. Garnett will leave it for Richards well out past the top of the key. He puts it back into Charles' hands. Wesley will take it on the drive. Left-hander puts it up. He may be only 5'9", but he's not afraid to take it inside. Quick and explosive. He looks like he's 100% healthy. It's great to see that young man playing so well. He missed most of last year with an injury. You got to give a lot of credit to him for being ready. He may not have thought he was going to play a lot tonight, but he probably paid attention during practice, paid attention to scouting reports, and now he's getting his chance with the injury to two point guards for Louisiana. Bell inside can't get it to go, but on the spot is Kirkland for the putback. And Kirkland's got 12 points already, came in averaging only eight a game. Kirkland has been a force inside. They're able to get it down low, or he's able to get an offensive rebound. He's got great touch for a big around the rim. Richards will leave it back for Wesley. We'll go back down low to Richards. Nice handoff to Joe Charles cutting to the basket. The product of Karen Crow High School gets his first bucket. Good offense. Wesley finds him on the roll and then help comes over. He finds Charles under the basket for an easy deuce. St. Hilaire tries to drive and then has to throw it off one of the Cajuns and it bounces off St. Hilaire off of Joe Charles's knee. I think off his knee. Whichever. Barnett made that play, comes off the baseline and hits him and then goes back off on St. Hilaire's Be knee. Before Louisiana it ball. hit the floor, yes. that's a good call. Great defense as Barnett cuts off that baseline. Wesley gets a nice ovation and some high fives from his teammates for great minutes as Jalen Dalfour takes over at the point. Cajuns can hold for one shot. Antoine Jones. Looks like he's going to control things until until the play comes in. Gets the screen. Tries to go down low to Richards. Ball gets knocked away with two on the clock. Launching the long shot. The difference in the game also is that UNO has shot four three-pointers. Louisiana has shot 15. UNO attacking the basketball. Down low, and it's cut off by Kirkland on the steal. And looks like Jordan Brown might have quickly picked up his third foul. Yeah, it was a pick and roll, and they tried to go down low to Brown, and Brown was actually behind the defender. I think Kirkland yep, reaches around, tries to get to the basketball, but commits the foul. Cajuns do not want to get a lot of fouls inside. Theo Akuba unavailable injured tonight. Who had two big games against the Privateers last year. Saki trying to find some room. Now he'll stop and take the jumper in the lane, but get his own rebound, put it back up. No good the second time. And Duque again comes away with the rebound. He's got seven of those in the game. Sandy Lair comes in averaging 21. He only had four in the first half. Look for him to try to get going here in the second half. Back door again. Garnett draws the foul. Garnett almost got it to go, but came off the back iron. Fouls called on Troy Green. That's his second. Barnett will go to the line to shoot free throws. First free throws of the year for the second year freshman from Donaldsonville. Nice back pass by Julian. Coach Marlin goes with a lot of dribble handoffs, and anytime you go with dribble handoffs, sometimes they try to jump, and the back door is available. That's a nice back pass there, and he makes it one out of two. Gager for only two of four in the first half. Quickly coming down, but Saki gets cut off. Try the down low pass. Mistaken communication. Jackson was not cutting to the basket. Julian will take it all the way to the hole. Kobe Julian's got seven. Quickly the other way. Down low it goes. 
Baskets put up and good by Tyson Jackson. Jackson's got four points. Established position down there on the low block and a nice pass right to the block. He's able to turn around and finish Brown, not wanting to pick up another foul. Just kind of go ahead and let him score. Yay, yeah, working against Jackson. Kick it in the corner to Wesley, who starts the second half of the point. And another drive inside, put up and good. Wesley's got six. Quickly the other way. In transition, Tyson Jackson with another basket. Jackson beating him down the floor, and then he's able to seal him where the defense can't come around and get between him and the basket. Doing a nice job, and UNO doing a nice job of finding him. Julian will take it on the drive. Tough shot, good to nicely defended that time, I think, by Green. Yeah, that shot a little quick. I don't think Coach Marlin liked that decision. Three ball outside, and that is way off the back iron. No good. Jordan Brown again with the rebound. That's eight for him already. Gay down low. He'll find Julian in the corner. The open three off the back iron, off the top of the basket. But Gay with the hustle play to give the Cajuns chance number two. Both teams in the first half doing a nice job of rebounding the basketball, especially on the defensive end. There's a lot of contact in the block once again. Kirkland picked up his second foul. Yeah, Duke on that hustle play right there saves the ball. Trajan Wesley gets it, sets up the offense. And Louisiana going right down to their leading score, Brown. And they draw a foul. See down low, yep. Kirkland either foul or give up the layup. Gay outside again tries to drive. Now goes the other way, takes it to the hole and lays it in. Duguay's got nine points. Nice dribble drive that time by Gay. No help from UNO as he had two shooters on the wing. They didn't want to leave Barnett or Julian. Short little jumpers put up by Tyson Jackson and he's come out red hot here. Three quick baskets in the first three minutes. Brown in the corner, Garnett again, that will stay. Looked like it was going to come out, but Garnett got the roll. He's got four triples in the ball game. Iron kind that time for the triple from the corner. Garnett and boy, you go right back to Jackson. Left-hander gets it to go and was looking for the foul. Yes, through contact. You can see him take a look at the referee saying, I got fouled, but no call, and he's still able to finish. Jackson's got 10 points. Eight of them here in the second half. Down low to Garnett, can't finish it. Was a lot more open than he thought he was. Quickly down court to Saki. He'll bring it back out. Beautiful execution. And guess where UNO's going on a nice pass. Inside block from behind to Julian as Green had the open layup. Wesley will get the Trajan Wesley, 80% free throw shooter this year. It's about what he has done for his career. Four out of five from the line so far this season. He's got seven points. And you see him take the take the contact here and draw the foul. Wesley finishing both ends. He's got eight points. The foul was on Saki. That was his first foul. Wide open drive and again down court Tyson Jackson on a nice speed that time. He's got 10 here in the second half. Louisiana with a little full court pressure. And sometimes if you don't get the turnover, the other team will get numbers and that time Jackson with an easy bucket. Tough pass inside from Wesley trying to find Gay, but he was well defended that time. Cajun turnover. Drive inside that layup will not go Jordan Brown with the rebound. And for Brown, he's at double figures on the boards. Wesley can't finish it inside. Got caught in between steps. Drive by Saki. Tough shot in the lane, up off glass and good. The junior from Winnipeg, Canada has his first field goal. And quickly, uh, some perspiration on the court. Ooh, nice little one-handed scoop shot there. 
Robert Dev a nice play. He was determined that time to get into the lane and to finish or dump it off to one of his bigs. And all of the bigs from Louisiana stayed home. They didn't want Jackson to get another bucket. And he's able to finish that time. That's a nice play by Saki. Two point game as Wesley looks for the drive. And Gay is going to hit the out of bounds line. Slid the foot back in. Was out of bounds before he started his drive. For the Cajuns, that's now 11 turnovers. Yeah, a little high ball screen for Wesley that time, trying to get him into the lane. Create, kicks it out to Dugay as he tried to make his move when he stepped back, stepped on the sideline. So private possession, and UNO can tie this game for the first time with a basket. Never been tied since 0 0. Richards checks in for Dugay. Saki with the lob and Richards stretches out all of his six foot ten and makes the steal. Good defense that time as they try to go high low and dump it inside to Jackson again. Richards with the, with the steal. Now Richards against Jackson on this end. Nice spin move up and off that. Isaiah Richards has his first bucket. Great execution and a great move by Richards. He put on some muscle in the offseason and he used it right there. That's a nice move. Getting into the middle and then spinning for the back. This one's knocked away by Brown. He'll go down to Julian. Got a little bit too far under the basket. Privateers quickly the other way. St. Hilaire will drive in. Can't get it to go, but into the hands of Bell and he gets the basket. He'll go to the line. Again, UNO taking advantage of the second chance. Fouls on Richards, his first. That time by Ellis. St. Hilaire can't finish. Brown had his hand on it. Couldn't come up with it. And the big fella, Bell, attacking the front of the rim. Richards fouls it, and he'll go to the line for one. Bell 0 for 2 from the line tonight. He's 0 for 3 for the season. Richards on the other end with that spin move. You can see some of the bigs trying to get to the backboard. A lot of times that front jump hook in the middle of the rim is harder to get to go down, but when you can drop step and get to the backboard, a lot easier basket for the bigs. That one is all firing. Brown has his 11th rebound, and Bell is 0 for 3 at the strike. Brown doing a nice job making up for some of those rebounds with Theo Akuba not available tonight. Brown at the top of the key. Julian, tough pass across court. So go down low to Brown, spin move, and he's going to get hit for the travel. A lot of contact down there. Coach Marlin wanting a foul. He tried to drop step again to get to the window. Ooh, Coach Marlin is not happy about that call. Bell had a lot of ball. I don't know if it was all ball, but it was, it was a lot. <laughs> I don't think it was all ball. A lot of body contact. Dowdy gives it away to Green. Thought about the jumper working against Julian. Kirkland and Richards really doing a lot of pushing inside. They certainly are. Maybe a little talking too. St. Hilaire with four on the shot clock tries the crossover. The shot's put up right at the horn and hitting it is Troy Green. All right. Cajuns trailing for the first time in the ball game. Brown at the top of the key. Now he'll take it himself, gets cut off and back to Wesley. Wesley on the drive, he'll put up the tough shot and he'll get the roll again. Trajan Wesley's in double figures with 10 points and every one of them has come inside the lane. Well, we had a chance to talk to him before the game. He came by to say hello and asked, I asked how he was feeling. He said, I'm 100%, and he looks 100%. What a great thing for Coach Marlins Club to have him playing like that. Foul was on Bell, his second. Fourth team foul on the Privateers as Wesley would go to the line to try to finish the three-point play. Six out of seven from the line this year as Antoine Jones will Check back in for Louisiana, as will Dalcourt. And Wesley gets the free throw. He's got 11. And he will check out and get a pretty good 
ovation from the folks sitting behind the Cajun bench. No doubt. Kind of turning into the crowd favorite tonight as he's kind of forced into the role of getting out there and playing point guard with Greg Williams out and also AU getting hurt. Green working against Jones. Tries to get it down low to Bell. Bell working against Gay. Spin move, puts up the hook. That won't go. Richards has the rebound. There's that middle hook. It's a lot harder to go down. Jones will hand it off to Dalcourt. Dalcourt being ball hawked by St. Hilaire. Garnett for the three ball. That won't go, but batted out. And it's a loose ball, and Garnett's going to come up with it. And the Cajuns are going to get the easy win inside. Isaiah Richards on the hustle play. Garnett made that happen as he sprints over after missing that shot, comes up with the 50-50 ball, and then found, finds Richard, who finishes at the rim. Nice pass by St. Hilaire, but Gay blocks the shot, and the Cajuns keep the ball in bounds. It's Dalcourt with a hustle play. Jones outside the Dalcourt. He'll launch the three. That's not there, but Jones comes away with it. Tries to leave it in the lane. Gay down low to Jones, and now the Cajuns will set it back up. Boy, a lot of action in that little quick series. Gay on the drive, finds the lane. New Gay's got 11, easily his season high. And he playing shorthanded, a couple of guys now with injuries and two other guys getting hurt during the ball game. I don't know if we'll see either Greg Williams or Brian Ayu the rest of the night. Doesn't look like it. Those guys are sitting down. One got a little ice on himself, and Greg Williams sitting there with that brace around his waist. Myers got There's a little defense. bit of a bump. Now Myers inside. That's off glass again. Richards again with the rebound. Cajuns have out rebounded the Privateers 11 to 5 since halftime. That's a great defensive possession, too. Both teams did a good job rebounding in the first half, but Louisiana dominating the glass here in the second. Richards at the top of the key. He will leave it for Gay. Looks to drive, spin move, gets caught. Cross court, Garnett has it with three on the shot clock. Dalcourt's going to have to launch one that's off glass. And Green will come away with the rebound. Now he'll take it inside. Did the little Euro step. That wasn't there. And Richards again on the glass. Three ball put up by Jones this time. That's not there. Jackson comes away with the board. Tough rebound by Jackson in traffic. He actually tipped it to himself. And Duguay had a chance to get that offensive rebound, but Jackson cleans it up. Outing, but he has been the spark plug tonight. And the privateers, they'll go to Jackson at the high post. He'll bring it back out to Saki. Allen Eikens outside, back to Jackson. They'll back off. Zero on the shot clock as that time the privateers didn't have very good awareness. They, somebody didn't look at the shot clock when they inbounded. Uh, and that's right, and they played through Jackson that time, but Coach Schlesinger moves him up to the house. You see AU there, he has a boot on now. So he and Akuba, uh, both with boots on their right foot. And uh, Jackson just didn't notice it from the top. And a shot clock violation, big time stop for Louisiana. Back door again. Gave to Julian. Kobe Julian cutting to the basket on a nice pass by Duguay, who is a really good passer for a big guy. You absolutely said it correctly. At the top of the key, he can go high, low, and he can also find those guys. Dalcourt almost stripped it away, had it knocked away, and now the Cajuns come away with it again. Jordan Brown on the drive, and he gets grabbed, and he'll go to the line. Saki had to just wrap him up, or else he was going to give up the layup. No doubt about it. And another good pass, the full court pass that time from Duguay. You can see over the head pass, kind of like a soccer throw in. Jordan is able to come up with it, spin move, and just the fact they can make his two points at the line. Jordan Brown with only two points tonight. 65% free throw shooter on the year, but he's made his contribution a season high 11 rebounds. Came in averaging 12.5 a game. 
And those UNO bigs doing a nice job on Brown. Putting a body on and making it tough for Louisiana to get the ball inside to Brown. Second free throw is up and good. Brown with three points. And the Cajuns rebuilt a nine-point advantage. Pass down low. Nice job by Jackson. Nice job by Kirkland to get Jackson the ball. He's got 14. His season high before tonight, 11 points. So he's got his season high. Brown on the drive, puts up the hook, off glass, and gets the roll. Brown's got five. That's a tough move from the big fella. Drives right and rises up because he's got a couple of big guys on him that can block shots and he's able to finish off the backboard. St. Hilaire in a zone right now. Wesley hands it off to Dalcourt. Thought about the three. He'll go to Julian on the drive. Tough jumper. Won't get that one to go, but Gay inside. That won't go, but Richards is there to clean it up. Cajuns will also be in a bowl after the conference championship game, but nobody's thinking about that right now. Tomorrow afternoon, 2.30 at Cajun Field. Right now, still a lot of basketball to go here as Green tries to drive, has it knocked away, but St. Hilaire is able to run it down. Great hands by Richards. He'll stop and take the jumper. Off the front iron, no good. Richards again with a rebound. But St. Hilaire with a steal right at midcourt, and he'll take it all the way and can't get the layup to go. He has had just a tough night offensively. Gay will leave it for Wesley. Cross court to Garnett. Julian from the corner. Bang! Kobe Julian with 12 and a big series there for the Cajuns as it looked like UNO was going to cut it and the Cajuns get the three on the other end. Great ball movement and great one extra pass by Garnett. Uh, too easy that time for Louisiana on the court. And now UNO will go back to the man-to-man. -man. They jumped in what looked like maybe a 1-3-1 one, one zone last possession, and now they're back locking up in man-to-man. -man. Wesley working against St. Hilaire as Richards has at the top of the key, tries to go inside to Julian, and he gets pushed from behind. Green just kind of lost his balance and fell into Julian and picks up his third foul. And a little flat cut action. You can see Julian, uh, that's Wesley on the other block, setting a screen, a little back screen for Julian. And they try to go down low. 16 foul. foul on the privateer, so the kids will be shooting in the bonus from here on. Hand back to Wesley as they'll set it up again. Gay cross court to Garnett. Back to Julian. Gay again going on the drive. Little jumper in the lane and gets the roll again. Two Gay's got 13. Came in averaging only 2.8 points per game this year. That's a tough move and good execution. The ball moved from side to side. They got some penetration and a jump shot right over the front of the rim. Duke Gay finishes with contact. Louisiana's made all three of its last three shots, five of its last seven. Three ball is offline. Gay has the rebound. I don't know what's going to happen in these last five minutes and ten seconds, but this is a much different looking Cajun team than the one that played against Jackson State last Saturday. Defensive intensity a lot better. They're moving a lot more on offense and sharing the basketball. Gay looking for the drive. He'll stop and take it in the lane. That won't go. Rebound this time to Tyson Jackson. And here come the privateers in transition. St. Hilaire all the way to the roll, to the hoop, to the hoop rather. Won't get the basket to go, but draws the foul. Wesley fouled in that time. Wesley actually tonight having a couple of opportunities to take charges or block shots. And you can see he kind of fakes and get those guys off balance. That time he bumps him, and that is definitely a foul. St. Hilaire will shoot two. Second foul on Wesley. St. Hilaire, 84% free throw shooter on the season. He is three for three tonight. Has not scored in the second half. At five points in the first half. And now four for four from the line. As Jordan Brown checks back in, Duguay will get a blow. And Jackson will also get a break as Yante Bell checks in for UNO. And really good minutes for Duguay starting tonight in place of Theo Akuba. St. Hilaire gets both free throws to go. He's got seven points. And now matched up with Wesley. 
Trying to put some defensive pressure on as Brown has it at the top. Looks for the drive. He goes on the crossover. Tough shot. Jordan Brown. That's a 6'11 guy doing that. Sometimes good offense is better than good defense. Inside shot. Turn around by Kirkland. That one won't go. Kirkland was so good in the first half. Has not scored in the second half after he had 12. Julian hands it off to Richards. He'll put it back in the hands of Garnett, who checked back in. Brown thought about the three. Now he'll take the three. That's all fire, no good. And Dowdy has the rebound. Quickly back to St. Hilaire. UNO needs to get him going, and that's one way to do it. To drive off glass to get the basket. Yeah, he kind of slowed down at the three-point line and peeked up at the rim like he was going to take a three and then a quick move to his right, strong side dribble, and finishes off the glass. That's a nice move. Now Louisiana in no hurry. They want to burn a little clock, but get something good going to the rim, and here's Trajan again. Rebounds in the second game. And speaking of good games tonight, Trajan Wesley that misses the first free throw. He's got 11. Another young man who was ready tonight. Probably coming into tonight, didn't think he was going to play a lot of minutes, but I guarantee he worked hard in practice. He paid attention to what was going on in the scouting report. Two point guards get hurt tonight, and Wesley has a big night because he was ready. He'll go out, and Jalen Dalcourt will come in. And Green will set up the offense for the Privateers. Down by 10, UNO needs some quick offense. Looking inside for Jackson and now St. Hilaire. Nice pass inside and the matchup's going to go up and he'll get the bucket and draw the foul. Duguay was trying to draw the offensive foul, but Kirkland got it down low and a nice little give and go. Yeah, I think Duguay initiated that contact instead of letting him come to him and he went forward, made the contact and that'll be a block each time and an and one big play that time right there for Kirk uh, Kirkland to finish. Kirkland had 12 points in the first half, had not scored in the second half until that basket. He'll get a chance to try to finish off the three-point play. 75% free throw shooter this year. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, it won't be a two-shot foul. <laughs> one of the officials had the two up, but just, uh, yeah, just a one-shot. That is all fire, no good. Fight for the rebound, and it's Troy Green that comes away with it. So the Privateers with a chance at a five-point trip. Green got the screen. They'll go back to St. Hilaire. He'll go on the drive. Can't get it to go. And Gay again comes away with the rebound. St. Hilaire trying to take it away from the big guy, but Gay's able to get it into somebody else's hands and now working against somebody more his size. Cajuns again in no hurry with just over two and a half minutes left. Julian on the drive. He'll kick it out to the top to Gay. Garnett for three. That one's all fired. Dalcord had a hand on it. It's going to go out of bounds, though, and belong to the Privateers. Good ball movement, got a wide open look. Garnett upset with himself that he didn't knock that down. He knew that would have been a huge three right there in that situation. Garnett was four for his first five outside the arc, but he's, since then he's missed his last four. Still 44% outside. As Dowdy on the cross court pass, and an offensive foul is gonna be called on Dowdy on the drive. As the Cajuns draw the charge. Big play by Kobe Julian. He's off the ball. He's on the right side of the court. And as soon as the penetration comes, you can see him come all the way across the lane, hold his ground, take a charge. That's a big play. That three would have gone in. Got you in a little closer. Wesley will check back in for Dalcourt. No, actually, it'll be Gay that'll go out as the Cajuns will put the Quick lineup and the good free throw shooting lineup in. Yep, three guards into the game now. All can handle the basketball. You got Garnett, Dalcourt, and Wesley. And then Julian and Brown, the two bigs. 
Garnett gets it to Wesley, and oh, he's hit hard by Green. And again, Green got caught, I think, a little off guard by Wesley's quickness. Yeah, they went to a 1 2 2 half court trap, and you can see Wesley was going to his left, and nothing he could do but foul him on. He would have definitely got by and maybe had a layup. Well, Green, that's his fourth foul. And Wesley will go to the line. Four for five there tonight. And he will have the one and one. That is nine team fouls on the privateers. So from here on, the Cajuns will be in the double bonus. Good to see this young man playing well. Five nine junior. Gets the roll on the first free throw. He'll have another. And he can make it a double digit lead again. That's what you got to have out of your point guard. He's going to handle the ball a lot, especially late in the game against pressure. They come in with traps. He's able to handle it. He draws the foul and goes to the line and hits two. Six out of seven from the line tonight. Now they'll do a little offense, defensive sub as Wesley heads back to the bench, bringing another big Duguay to guard those kids and match up with Chris Jackson and Kirkland down there on the block. Look for St. Hilaire to try to get something to the basket or a three. There he goes to the basket. Gets the handoff again, gets cut off on the drive. Good defense. Garnett, 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 picks, Garnett picks, picks off the steal. Wow. Quick hands from the second year freshman from Donaldsonville and Catholic High in Baton Rouge. And now a dive by St. Hilaire, and he comes away with the loose ball. Down low, pass inside, and the shot's going to be put oh up goodness, and good in the foul. What a shot by Simeon Kirkland. He kind of spun it up over his shoulder behind his back, and it went in. Here's another look. Great pass by Jackson. Look at this shot. He wasn't even looking at the basket. He wasn't. What a shot by Simeon Kirkland. Throw it up there, you never know. Was Marlon saying it was on the floor. Foul is called on Jordan Brown. That's his fourth. Coach Marlon saying it was on the floor when the contact was made, and he should not have. The basket should not have counted. He should shoot two instead of the basket and one. But yeah, I think he wants him to go look at the monitor. But officials were pretty adamant that the shot went. So Kirkland will go to the line two for three tonight. Can he throw the red flag and challenge it? Well, you can do that in the women's game this year now. You've got that appeal play as it comes in bounds to Wesley. And quickness, and he's going to be fouled in the backcourt. And if it's on Green, that's his fifth foul. And it is on Green. And that is his fifth. And that's probably not the guy that the privateers wanted to commit that foul. So Green's going to foul out with 10 points, a couple of threes. Also got six rebounds and no turnovers tonight. So a solid floor game from the senior from St. Rose. Daniel Sackey, one of the starters, will check back in. And that's a luxury to have Trajan Wesley or have a point guard with that kind of quickness and explosiveness. You don't have to run any type of press break. Just get it to your point guard and let him get the ball up the court for you. Wesley now seven of eight from the stripe. He's got 17 points. Make it 18. And when you're stroking it like that, you do not want to give it up. You want to hang on to that ball, force them to foul you, go to the line, extend the lead. That's a great job and a great night for Trayvon Wesley so far, because he will probably get back into the game as he goes to the bench. Career the high. Side. Long shot by St. Hilaire. That's not there. And Julian has the rebound. Quickly down court, Duguay. Blocked from behind, goes out. And Wesley back in for Gay. They'll put it back into Garnett's hands, being guarded by Saki. He'll give it up to Wesley with 12 on the shot clock. And now Saki is guarding him. 
Looking for the screen, goes the other way, gets bumped on the way to the line, it won't go. But offensive board by Ed for all but about 20 seconds in this one. And here's the extended defense, making them catch it way in the backcourt. And now they'll have to run some clock before they can get into their offense. Sacky working against Wesley, and he will force it inside and draw the foul. And Wesley again took a pretty good shot. And that's not what you want to do. You don't want to stop that clock and let them get points. But Wesley just playing hard, tried to make a play, tried to pick his pocket, but too much arm, too much contact. And uh, Saki will go to the line. Good free throw shooter, 82% on the year. One out of two tonight. Those came early in the first half. Three points. Now he has four. Team in averaging right at six a game. Had started the last couple of games for the privateers. He's been coming off the bench, product of Winnipeg, Canada. Transfer from Valpo. Second free throw gets the roll this time. He's got five. And here comes the full court defense for you. And it looks like full court man to man. And they'll maybe run and jump off of the ball once it's passed in. Denying Wesley, though. They get it inbounds into Garnett. They'll put it back into Dalcourt's hands. Knocked away, but Garnett in the right place at the right time and a big play. Cross court to Dalcourt. Now the Cajuns just going to play keep away for a while. Surprised that the privateers aren't fouling, and now Saki steps in and does commit the foul. But Eric, they let an awful lot of time go off the clock. Yeah, they did. They tried to deny Wesley. They not want to foul Wesley again and send him back to the line. He's been out standing at the free throw line and they've got to stop the clock so they fouled Dalcourt. Dalcourt a 69% free throw shooter for the year. Just his third point of the night. He'll have another. Junior from Lafayette High played his first couple of college years at San Jose State before transferring back home. Gay checks back in. Richards will check out. Boy has he done a good job. Dowdy will inbound to put it in the hands of Saki. He will stop and pop the three. Rolls in and out, no good. Fight for the rebound. And Dalcourt comes away with it, and he is fouled. The Louisiana group has done a really good job tonight of something that's kind of the dirty work. They've been doing a good job out, blocking out on the rebounding, and it shows in the numbers. They have out-rebounded the Privateers by 12 in the game and by 11 here in the second half. I knew the numbers were pretty close at halftime, but Louisiana getting it done. Doesn't matter how good a defense you play if you can't get those defensive rebounds. And in the second half, they have cleaned the defensive glasses. Dalcor hits the first. He's made three in a row. He'll get another. Came in averaging 7.7. He's got six on the night. Louisiana now 15 out of 20 from the line, and it's desperation time for the Privateers. Saki on the drive. Julian knocks it away and knocks it off of Saki, and it will be Cajun basketball. That's a great play by Julian as Saki gets all the rim. Louisiana denies Andy Lay. You can see him come from the weak side, block it, and it does hit Saki. Louisiana ball. Home run pass to Wesley, and boy, does he have some hops. And the Cajuns have it in the backcourt, and now the Privateers will just let that one run out. As Wesley will dribble out the last seven seconds. And the teammates all congratulate.